Okay, since Christmas is over, I'm going to go to the front and I gotta take my blow molds out of the front window and I'm going to stick them up here to where you can see them. I'm probably gonna take this blanket down here so you can see back a little bit further. Um, I'm gonna do that real quick and when I get back, we will see what it looks like. So hold on, I'll be right back. Catch me at the moon. Okay guys, so I have all of the blow molds from up front in that window and I've redid the window a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I did with the blow molds real quick though. Let's turn the camera around here. And I put Santa and Frosty up there and the two nutcrackers. They are for sale, Santa's 150, Frosty's 125, and the nutcrackers are like 75 a piece. And then I've got all Jesus of Joseph and the three wise men and old angel up there. And I'm going to be putting like 450, maybe 475 on all of them. If you have not checked out the prices of these blow molds, they are absolutely through the roof right now. I'm about ready to knock stuff off. So we're going to go to the front of the store real quick and I'm going to show you what I've done up there. Okay, it is kind of dark out here, but I took some purple material and I put it along the base of the window. Um, and then I set up and put my little uh, really cool antique uh, birdcage with a raven on top of it. I've got my sailor suit in the front window. I've got this weird looking little baby in a jar. I don't know. Don't ask. Um, got the spine here. I got the cool dress, the raggedy end doll, and the Miller highlight cooler. Um, and then setting over to the side is a large owl. I want to do some more stuff to the front window but I'm not exactly sure what else I'm going to put in here. I did move both of the bicycles over here. I took the girl's bike finally out of the window, but I absolutely love it. I've got 250 bucks on it, and I'm probably not going to take any less. What I would like to do is work on this window next. I'm gonna take all of this stuff out and try to sweep it out. It's been there since I've had the place. It's been there all this time. And what I'd like to do is take that TV out and over here where the teddy bear's at, way up here on top, I wanna to put that TV up there. I'm gonna set that TV up there if I can get it up there. Gonna to have to get a buddy over here or something to help me hoist it up there. But I'd love to put that TV up there on top because I absolutely love it and i don't really want to get rid of it it actually came out of a hoarder house and everything in that house absolutely worked perfectly and i about guarantee you if i plug that tv in it would warm up and a picture would most definitely come through on it so i really love it and i'm getting ready to open the store again i'm just trying to get stuff cleaned up i've got a huge mess back here and i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do i've got all this jewelry i need to find a new place to put jewelry um, I was actually thinking about putting jewelry here on the back side of this, but I'm not sure. So I've got some work to do. Got to put a plan together in my head so I can get this door back open so I can start making money. Okay, guys, the first item that we have to pull is this light here. It is a big UFO looking saucer light that came out of a house. They replaced it with this. I got to be careful here. Uh, they replaced it with a dragonfly light. Let me put it down here on the table. Woo, that's using my noggin. This is it right here. It's really cool. It's like a UFO flying saucer light is what I call it. And it pulls down. It's got a little pull down cord. Uh, we actually sold it for 200 bucks plus like $25 shipping. Not too bad at all. Sold the other one of these. How much did we sell it for? Thirteen twenty-five, free shipping. Let's get a pretty good look at that. Yeah, it's really neat. So and it's actually going GSP. Wow, it's going out of the country. Not too bad. So yeah. thirteen what? Twenty-five plus free shipping. Yeah, won't be too bad. It's going right over to Kentucky. Okay, what do we have next? We got another one of these. Oh, we got the basic itch by uh, <laughs> the basic itch eyeshadow. How much yeah. did it sell for? Sixteen ninety-five. Not too bad. We just stuck through this tote here and found the bubble guppies that we had sold. We'd bought these out of that twenty-dollar Goodwill big blue tote lot. And how much did they sell for? Twelve seventy-five plus shipping. Not too bad. Uh, and that pays for about half of everything that we bought. And I still probably have another 
probably another 20 lots to list. Okay, we've got the last converter box here, and uh, it sold for how much? $33.95. $33.95. It is dark back in this corner. $33.95 plus some kind of small little shipping fee. Uh, that's kind of funny. Anyways, these are really good if you're ever out and you see them, pick them up. They always sell well and you will make 33 bucks off of it. Okay, this is the very next item that we have. It is a vintage blob top. That's a blob top. And it's a round-based ginger ale bottle. And uh, it's really nice. It's got part of the label still on it. How much should we sell it for? $26.95 plus shipping. $26.95 and I paid $10 for it. So that's probably a pretty good sale. What would you say, Francis? Pretty good. You like it? Here is the last of these Calling Coyote DVDs that we had. Uh, we still have some deer and some turkey and stuff like that. I bought these a couple years ago and they are selling okay. Uh, we're still selling them like a year and a half later. Two years later, how much did it sell for? Six ninety-five. Yeah, not very, not a whole lot of money, but some of the ones that we had had sold for pretty decent money. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, we have our next item right here. It is a drum roll, please. It is a uh, advanced meat probes. <laughs> I got one of those. Um, two pack. <laughs> She's saying, "Oh Lord." Uh, advanced meat probe. Uh, how much did it sell for? $32.95. $32.95 free shipping? Yeah. Yeah. There's two of them there, and then I think I just threw in an extra one there. They don't even know they're getting that, so that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy uh, with that sale. I paid a dollar for that at an auction in a box, so you can't go wrong with that. Okay, guys, the next item that we have is this little CB antenna tester. It's a CB accessory uh, Motorola. Uh, it just tests the uh, power of your antenna or something like that. Honestly, I don't know. I just know that it sells for good money. How much did we sell it for? $35.96 free shipping. $35.96 in free shipping. I'm going to have you get this down because there's no way I'm going to be able to one hand. I'm not going to try to one hand this. Uh, we sold this ceramic Christmas tree. And uh, it comes in the original box. I'm not going to take it out and show you guys. Uh, but we picked it up i don't think i made a whole lot on it i bought it at an auction and was going to like thought that i could maybe flip it because it was in the original box but apparently it wasn't one of the most sought after ceramic christmas trees uh how much did it sell for 62.95 plus shipping yeah i think i paid 50 bucks for it maybe 55 or 60 bucks for it so at least it'll be gone yeah okay guys we've got the light here We've got the old ginger ale bottle. We got the bubble guppies, the CB part, the meat probes. We've got the coyote DVD, the mascara. We've got some of the uh, little uh, RCA converter boxes. We've got that wonderful little sifter. We've got two car parts, and all of this sold for four hundred and sixty-three dollars. Not too bad. So I really appreciate you guys watching the channel and I don't want anyone to think that I'm being critical of any other YouTubers because I don't want to be that guy. I just want you guys to know that when you watch this channel that we have over 20 years of real world reselling experience and we are selling stuff that you can find every single day. When you go out to Goodwill, you go to yard sales, you go to garage sales, you go to auctions, if you go to private picks, that this is the kind of stuff that we sell. There is over $463 just in this little bit of merchandise right here. And if you buy well, you will sell off. I'm a high line. The TV's watching me. Be